In this video, I'm once again completing another crazy challenge and lead grab food from the east to the north of Singapore. Just gonna take a break over there as well again. Have a sip of water and we'll head there shortly. Before we continue, are you subscribed to our channel? Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. And let's go deliver food to some hungry people. What is up fellow riders? As you have seen today's video's title, I'm going to deliver grab food from Tampines to the north. If you haven't watched my previous video that I did from Tampines to the west side of Singapore, I'll leave the link down below. And right now, here we are. We are on our way to Pasir Ris. Uh, I was contemplating, I was thinking, should I, should I turn online from Tampines, from where, where my house is? Because my area, it's not too far. There are times where I can get an order from here to one of the condos in Aceris, Coco Palms, uh, Dines condo, but then nah, I'll probably still end up 90% I'll probably still end up delivering to Tampines elsewhere. So now let's start our video. I haven't turned online yet. Let's start our journey by heading over to Aceris, get an order to Aceris. Hopefully, hopefully uh, we are able to you know, deliver somewhere that's nearer to Halos Bridge because the route that we are taking today is from Passeris towards Halos Bridge and we are using the Halos Bridge to actually cross over to Pongo to Pongo and then we will head over to Yishun I'm sorry, we will head over to uh, yeah, I'm right actually from Pongo we will head over to Yishun area and we will end up at my friend's place my friend referring to Adam if you guys haven't if you guys don't know who Adam is he's, he's the one crazy guy that does 20, grab food for 24 hours right now so my name is Adam I've been tasked by guide to grab food to do a crazy challenge that is a 24 hours grab food delivery in the north of Singapore okay now as we are inching clo closer towards the uh, Pasiri Central let's turn online hopefully I do not have to have to uh, verify and all of that those again because I already did it yesterday night. Okay, all good, we are all online. And by the way, today is Friday. Looking at the heat map right now, all this seems to be pretty well, quite well. A lot of raids on the map, masteries, the entire central area is raids. And let's uh, move forward. I should be turning right lah by then. The cars behind me is all super damn fast one. Okay, so we have actually reached central area and surprisingly there are riders r rushing into central area to pick up an order but for some reason I do not, I've yet to get an order. I'm wondering is it because I have to submit the health declaration, that's why. But like, a, what, like I, what I just did, turn offline, turn online again. Uh, I do not, apparently I do not have to submit any health declaration because I realize the issue about Grab app is that they don't notify you it, it's, it's, they notify you in a very weird way like you, you have to go offline and go online then the health declaration pops up otherwise you know you are not able to see whether it, whether, whether or not today you are, you are supposed to submit so yeah sometimes if you guys can't receive any order go offline go online and the health declaration might pop up which means that you are not receiving any order because you have yet to submit the health declaration so Greg really needs to improve on this on this like sometimes there are riders, riders waiting for one hour 
and they go offline, go online, then they realize, oh, they have been waiting for one hour because they have yet to submit that stupid thing. It's not a stupid thing, it's just how the app works. It's not, it's very funny. <laughs> okay, once again, still no orders. We have turned one big round uh, around central area. Surprisingly, really surprisingly, no orders. Despite how high demand it is according to the heat map. So now let, let's head towards Pasiris Farmway, the direction. Let's see if we can get any orders. I don't know. I don't know if we can get any orders towards Pasiris Farmway, towards Pasiris, Pasiris Drive 3. I think I'm riding along Pasiris Drive 3 and the orders are probably the hawkers. I will assume the hawkers, there will be merchants that are located in Hawker Centre. Quite unfortunate. I don't want. I don't want to have this instance uh, whereby, whereby I move away from central area, from White Sands, from downtown East. Then I get an order. Okay. If there's really no order, then yeah, let's cross the bridge, head over to Pongo. Let's have a look at how Pongo is. Pongo once again as well. Pongo is just like Pasiris, high in demand, super super rate. But I don't know. I don't know. To be fair, the time right now, 2:43 p.m. mid afternoon on a Friday. The peak of the peak is 12 to 2. Uh, sorry, 11 to 2 lunchtime. We have passed the peak peak hours. What I've been noticing time and time again, Grab has actually sent us a notification once, but. You know, we are not able to see the first order until the second order comes in. Then we are able to see the order together. So I, I feel that that's quite that's quite uh, strange. That's quite funny because the second order, the first order, okay, ten pennies to ten pennies. That's fine. The second order, the second order, we are delivering to you know somewhere else. Like I don't know, like ten pennies to Sime, ten pennies to Pasiris. It's really strange, it's really strange. That's, uh, that's on purpose, uh, Grab. Don't do this, uh, don't do this, come on. Okay, so now, on my right side, we are at Pasiris Water Faber Park. We are at uh, industrial area already. Okay, let me, let me pull up the Google map and let's see uh, which direction we will lead to Pasiris Farmway. Okay guys, so guys if you see this, Pasiris Water Faber Park. This is the place where all the water is, you just go straight to this. Very wide, very empty road and this connects to Pongo. But of course, you have to take the bridge. According to Google Map, it says that we are 4.1 kilometers away to reach to step foot into Pongo. And to be quite frank with you, I've actually attempted to create this video for riding from east to north uh, using Zebra e-bike. So what I did is because Zebra is 9.9 AH battery. What I did was I brought like two additional batteries out and I changed like once or I don't know if I changed once or twice lah, but yeah, I attempted to do this, this video. Uh, however, due to the audio cut off, I decided not to edit, edit it and I hope it doesn't happen today. Okay, and the difference is that previously I was using GoPro Hero 5 the, foot, the footage wasn't so well, it was very shaky, especially GoPro doesn't do well in low light GoPro, so it was quite shaky and plus the audio cut, cut off. The audio wasn't good on GoPro. If I were to use the audio from GoPro Hero 5, it, 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 it doesn't, it isn't good also lah. You can hear a lot of wind noise, but today we are, we are using GoPro Hero 8 and even if 
touch wood lah. Even if the audio cut off today, because I'm using a, an external microphone, even if the audio cuts off today, I think uh, I think I could still use some of the foot audio from GoPro Hero 8. Oh hey, you know what, guys? I came to realize uh, Google Map brought me a shorter route instead of passing by crossing the bridge to Halos. We are using this new path. I have no completely no idea what's the name of this road. But we are using this new new road that links over directly to Pongo Central. Well, that's according to uh, Google Maps. Lah. It says that in 2.2 meters, I will reach Pongo Central, which I'm glad that they built this new path. So the previous video east to west took seven hours, seven long hours. In that case, I'm expecting this video to, to, to this mission to be completed by 4.5 hours, an estimate. Oh guys, as you can see, LRT in front of us already. So definitely this is Pongo, Pongo Central already. And once again, we are going down slope. Oh no! Woo! Oh my god, this is crazy! Woo! Wow! The adrenaline rush, guys. 40 kilometers per hour. Woo! Don't know how many, don't know how you know how many down slopes I have been already? Uh? Like in a previous video, I went to Harbourfront to do, went inside Sentosa. There's a lot of uphills, downhills. Today there's downhills as well. Woo, that's crazy. Okay, looking once again, looking at the heat map, Sengkang has more orders than Pongo. Wow. Never mind, we still head over to Pongo. Pongo Waterway Point. So I've seen a lot of riders just waiting around. A lot of bicycle park, park there also, but they are also, those owners, they are also nowhere to be seen. Only like very few, very few, uh, uh, with their own bicycle so either which means one in two things one is that they are heading inside to get an order or the other thing is that they are they just park their bicycle out outside like, and then they go inside and, and go shopping uh. two possibilities uh. okay guys so we have a treasure over here okay so how do I accept this treasure? Okay, there we go. We have gotten 51 gem. And all we need to do is just to head over there. Let's go. Navigate. Where are we going to? Sengkang area. So apparently Sengkang is really really high in demand right now. Oh there we go. Just as I've accepted the treasure. Uh, I've gotten an order. Okay, first order. Swensons, waterway point. Okay, delivering to Sumanling, 312A, Sumanling. Okay, have a look at the orders. One during Supreme Sunday. Easy peasy, guys, just one order only, one item only. Waterway point level 2. Let's proceed up. Lock our e bike here. Okay. okay. Can. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a cute panda bag you have over here. Huh. Oh, panda bag so small, one, man. That's quite interesting. Okay. 
gonna find where is Sumang Ling. Okay, Sumang Ling, I roughly know where it is because one of my clients stays at that area, so it's a new, slightly new area. I'm aware that I'm aware that the area they are building like yeah they, this is something that they're I don't know is this school I think I think it's like school or something oh last time I was here there was no there was no building uh. it's just construction all oh, the sands and mud and whatnot metal thingy but now there's 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 a building already uh. it's even painted uh. Just hang out the gate. Okay. I'm coming up. Okay. Customer just say hang on the leaf. I hang on hang on hang on hang on the gate. Hang on the leaf. <laughs> Ask the customer come side leaf take by the time gone already. Okay, heading over to Shengkang. We are not going to turn. We are not going to turn left to Pongo Central anymore. Let's go straight. Straight to Shengkang already. Okay, Compass One is on the right side. Previously named Compass Point. No idea why they call it Compass One. Now we got to find a way to uh, cross over to Compass One. Uh, let's use this traffic light instead. Uh. So I'm just going to circle around Compass 1 just because two things just because number one the fact that I do not know where, where to where to wait which area is the best spot to wait to get orders and number two I'm just going to have a look at the observe and have a look at the a more of rider slash bicycle slash motorbike with food delivery with grab food bag if they are parked around the circumference or not so we can determine and see see if it's really high in demand just now we passed a few bicycles that were parked uh, and there were no riders with them so I presume they are waiting for their order orders inside. I presume that it's not too bad. Orders are decent. And we are coming back to that circle of uh, wrecking. And now I know. Now after observing I know where where to park with, with the rest of the riders. Lah. That's another that's the third thing I wanna find out where to park the bicycle. Because uh. usually most of the times riders will actually park bicycle to the to the entrance that we that's easier la, easier to enter. Ah so great one to lie right. Say hi in demand, I come here, I wait for 10 minutes, I I go for my second toilet break. I don't know why I want to feel so much. Nervous, uh, really feeling nervous. Uh. Went for my second toilet break again at Sengkang MRT. Still no order. Still say uh, super high in demand. Waiting time one to two minutes. And still no order. Maybe, uh, maybe I wait at the wrong area. Maybe. Uh. Okay, if no order, then I head over to Anchor View. Area already, ah. Uh. Angle view horizon. Okay, guys. Now we are the at the west area of Sengkang already, and we are officially out of our high demand area. I think Grab just put there for nice for show only. Uh. No orders at all. Ah. 
Okay. Okay. The route that we are turning into right now is Jalan Kayu. Jalan Kayu, there are, there are a lot of merchants. I'm sorry, there are a lot of shops, but there, there, there doesn't seem to be any merchants. You know, that's with Grab. So I doubt that we can get any, any orders from one, any of the shops in Jalan Kayu as well. We have to pass by Jalan Kayu uh, in order to cross over to Yishun Dam. quietest part of Singapore Pika Dilili Just gonna take a break over there as well again Have a sip of water and we'll head there shortly Very different feel, very different feel. Really great for your afternoon or morning cycle. Very, very quiet. Lonely but quiet. Depends on how you want to see it. If your aim is to cycle around this area, if your aim, if your aim is to cycle in a very quiet area, very little cars, very little pedestrians and this will be the place uh. if your aim is to commute to Yishun then it's a very long ride uh. managed to make a, a turn from the right, the most right lane to the left side of the lane. Woo! Gotta be fast uh. You gotta time it right, but you gotta make, you gotta really time, time it right, bruh, guys. You gotta be really an expert on the road like me, uh, to be able to switch from the most right part of the lane to the left. Uh. Unfortunately, there, I don't have a rear camera angle. Uh. Otherwise, I can tell you guys how crazy that was, how scary that was. Ooh. Guys, here we are. Beautiful Yishun Dam. Pasi Gudang. This might be Pasi Gudang opposite. It's nice, it's nice. Oh, we got a grab food rider over here. Wow, where's this guy going to? See, I got order from Yishun Avenue 1 to Seleta Wame. Seriously got that. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Everything will be perfect uh, without all of these cars behind me. But in life, you can't always have the best of both worlds. Uh. And I think that's uh, Seleta Golf Club. Can see people playing golf in front. Let's get out of this very noisy area. Can't stand it. Uh. 
all the cars beside me on my right cannot unable to enjoy uh, this kind of view with so much noises cars never stop one uh. there's no traffic light here ah now i want to go on the road cannot cause no traffic light we try to find a way uh. wow i really cannot uh. Woo. really cannot guys really cannot really cannot okay now can have to wait lah have to be patient and wait lah okie dokie finally we have stepped foot in Yishun can see Yishun Street 43 Woo. finally Huh, can see some buildings uh, now. Some residential buildings. Uh, we're, not, we're not talking about buildings in industrial area. Okay. Let's make our way from here to North Point. Uh. We just got to wait for orders, law. Yishun indeed got a lot of riders at Yishun. Let's now pass by a few already. Okay, look at the amount of riders. Already got people start come out already. Hardworking. That's why I call hardworking. North. Nobody is slack, slacking in the north. Everyone's fighting. Fighting for that piece of the pie. The piece of the order. So, uh, where do we wait? McDonald's, maybe? So, I bought this ice cream for, from Mr. Bean and right now, just in front of me, there are, there are riders waiting for orders at Starbucks. But then I got no orders. Just wait ah. Uh. 10 more minutes to 5 p.m. Whoa, look at the amount of <laughs> pedestrians and riders and people that just ended work in Yishun. Wow, Tampines also don't have so many people. The central area of the central area also don't have so many people. Okay, nonetheless, after a very long wait, we have gotten an order. Time right now, it's 5.34. Got an order from Shell, just on the right side, but I don't know how to <laughs> how to make, make that turn. Uh, because there was cars. There was a lot of cars just now. Oh! 5.30 is the seems like the timing whereby we are able to get orders ah. Group order. Both collect at Tuk Tuk Cha. Ah, oh, I'm forgetting ah, North area, ah, there's no gems ah. You only got your quest incentive ah. No gems ah. That's why I'm seeing like eh. What is two, 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 two gems? Ah, I'm supposed to get more right? But nope. North area, you got no more gents ready. Very interesting. Shell also got Tuk Tuk Cha. In Tampines, our Tuk Tuk Cha is in shopping mall here in Shell. One. Power. Great food. What number? 902-856. Just come on 856. Oh, okay. Okay, this one five six. Nine zero two. Correct. Okay. Nine zero two. Yeah, yeah correct. Okay. Hey, what I like about this ah, uh, this tuk tuk cha, this outlet is that they cable tie and all and yeah, they pack for you nicely, nicely and. Yeah. 
but then it take quite a while lah. A for effort though. Okay, now we have an issue. Okay, just nice. Feet's just nice. Woo. I thought cannot fit inside. Just nice. Okay. Done. Let's get out of this place smelling of gasoline. Guys, standing in Yishun is very different. Especially North Point area. A lot of buses, a lot of cars, a lot of pedestrians. It feels very, very clustered and very cramped. Like there's a lot of, not only, you know, cars, not only vehicles, not only pedestrians. E-bike riders, e-scooter riders, cyclists. Way too many going, way too many things going on at central area. Six, seven, three, eight. Map says turn left and turn left. Turn left. Turn left. left. You will arrive at your destination. destination. You have arrived. Of course, I have arrived. There we go. Six, seven, three, eight. What I like about you know this customer is that he or she opened the front gate yeah, so they were able to hang the, the the food the plastic the packet of food onto the handle because if you were to hang outside if you were to hang outside their handle once they open the door the whole that kind of food will probably drop. So, to any customers that's watching this, if you want food delivery riders to hang food at your gate, you can open the the, the metal gate. So, your food wouldn't drop and we will know where to hang and how to hang. Or at least I know how to hang. Okay. I know how to hang up, but I don't know how to exit from here. Where do we go? Okay. Now, three. Going to the other side. 395. The other side of Yishun. In 200 meters, turn left. Okay, I hope I'm going to the right path uh, because we are cutting, cutting through Yishun Park. Ah. Okay, now it looks like correct. Yeah. Just now it was like very forested. I've never been to Yishun Park before. So. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Up and knee, bro. Oh, there's a cute dog. Hello, no problem. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now heading back to North Point. This will be our last and final order. If we can get an order from North Point to Canberra, that would be great. If we can't, we will deliver to wherever, wherever it brings us to, it sends us to. As long as it's within Yishun and not further away from Yishun, that's fine. Towards Canberra side, Sembawang side is fine. And then we'll meet Adam afterwards. Wow, super, super lively over here in Yishun. Massive coffee shop. Massive. Okay, here we have one new order. Devil chicken. North Point Basement 2 Snacks ah Snacks are alright Snacks are fine Doesn't 
take too long to wait for the merchant so let's bring this food this next to block 788 Yishun Avenue 2 and then I've turned online we're just gonna accept one order lah today now right not today right now to end this off with the last order and shall go and find Adam ready yeah I don't know if you guys are experienced things or this or not like I'm on gear 5 I'm pedaling and then it doesn't give me the pedal assist leh. I'm like 15 speed at 15 that's weird that's odd okay once again I'm like pedaling very hard right now it doesn't give the pedal assist that is extremely odd is this one of the flaws of MC? I don't know very very minor flaw lah if it is because the range is woo, range is long holy shit look at the amount of people we have here Wow, North Point is the the place to form clusters. Ah. Wow, to get to an escalator ah, to Vito, I ah, have to go to the other side of the wing, man. Okay, thank you. Wow, none of the shops in North Point, ah, none of them ah, is without a queue one. Wow. Okay lah, if you're talking about this kind of souvenir shop then oh, still got people shop, still got people buy things and because they are selling Japanese Japanese stuff. Wow. Business is good in North Point, eh? Really, 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 really. Woo. Open one shop here. Eh? Guaranteed good one. Eh? Okay, left or right? Uh, I think it's left. Okay, found my route already. Wow, 2.3 kilometers. How much are we getting paid? Five dollars and twenty cents. Wow, severely underpaid in off north area. Wow guys, I, I, I tell you, uh, if you want to start, okay, here's the worst place to start doing grab food. Uh. North Point, here's the worst place to start doing grab food. Woo. You'll be exhausted after, at the end of the day. You have a lot of people, you have to look for direction. North Point, you have North, South, East, West Wing. You have too many, way too many merchants. Oh my god, and then you have so many levels for North Point. Most of the most basement one is the maximum radio. North Point or basement two, you gotta go two level down. But I think if you want to learn, 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 start learning to do grab food in. North Point. I think I think it will take me at least three months uh, to really memorize everything, the directions and stuff. Whew, talk so much overshot already. One four. Yeah, I texted you. I'm here at a block. I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> Okay, you're most welcome. Here you go. Oh, you got only one eye. Oh, serious. Okay. Thank you. Can take care. Okay. Final order has been delivered. Now we are heading over to Adam's place, and we're just uh, we just park the MC at his place Hello, hey, what's up? How's my 
alright, alright, it's great. Hiring part great. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave the MC here with you. Okay, sure. And uh Hey bro, if you are waiting for that very slow merchant, you should watch the next episode or check out one of my most updated playlists that I've selected for you. Fellow riders, see you on the streets!